We got something special today. YouTube, we have a Sun and Moon Guardians Rising, the trainer box. Took me a while to get one at a good price. I really hate that beforehand you could find these for around $65 to $88. And all of a sudden it's a shot up to over a hundred. I really hate that. But I got one that was like a little bit, like around a hundred and two, a hundred and three dollars. But I, I really wanted it lower than that. Something I do want to talk about real quick. Is I hate some of the prices for some of the older cards. Or you know it's not even really that old. Example the Crimson Invasion is going for $55 to this day. But yet they have. Sets that came out afterwards priced higher. And it shouldn't be. I feel some of these Pokemon sets should have a longer lifespan than three months, you know. Um, this is how I feel, you know. I feel some of these cards should still be making sets to this day. It shouldn't be like packs from like almost, what, one to three years and all of a sudden there's hardly any in, in stock like that they don't make those anymore and price that stupid prices I mean like I said if the Crimson Invasion is still coming out at $55 there's no excuse for the other ones being so more expensive okay I wish that um, <laughs> they definitely need to make the Shining Legends back you know because who wants to pay 400 for Elite Trainer Box <laughs> not me um, some other older sets like you know the Jungle the base sets I can see being the price it is now for a couple thousand, okay? Because that's when it first started. But for evolutions to be priced at the price it's going for, that's crazy. Who wants to pay a thousand for that? I mean, they're still making prints of it, like in um, lightning boxes, where you get four packs and, and one of them is the evolutions. People have been going crazy buying them out just so they can get the one evolution pack out and sell it for a, a stupid price online. I hate that. Evolution shouldn't go for that or the XY sets. I mean, that, that it shouldn't be that high. Another thing that's going high is the Generations, like um, the 20th anniversary set. That's going for like 700, 800. Some going for a thousand. It's too high for what it's going for, because it's it's not even like a whole five years. Because um, our 25th anniversary set comes out in October, I think. October, yeah. So it makes no sense for it to be that high because I still see them online, you know, they're not that rare. Uh, some, some of these sets I don't understand. They should have a longer lifespan and still come out with um, more forward, you know. It shouldn't, some of these sets shouldn't be that high. And like I said before, when uh, the company switched over, I can see some of those like, uh, what's a good one? Like, uh, what's it, Furious Fists? Um, origins, you know, that I can see, but certain ones like tag team shouldn't be that high. Um, well, you get the example I'm going with, you know, some of these should not be the, as high as it's going for, you know, some of those are priced high because there's a jar sword in it. <laughs> but that's just a little rant. Let me know how you feel in the comments below. Do you agree? Disagree? Or anything, you know, like I said, I reply to all comments, so it don't matter to me. <laughs> Just have a good conversation. Anyways, we have our Guardians Rising. I've been looking forward to this. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we get, right? Actually, I get to show off because this is the first um, Guardians Rising ETB. Cover over here, and always there's a little underneath portion on the older ones, a little cardboard to hold it up. You don't get that in the new ones anymore, so that means the inside of the box is a different style. And here we got the booklet. I always look forward to a new booklet. Got all your good info on cards, but always I look forward to the checklist. That way I keep track of everything in my binder. What I got, what I don't have, what I need. And I see there's quite a few gold cards, quite a few rainbows. Well, there's a lot of gold cards in here. In fact, there's a ton of rainbows. 
time to train her in uh, full art, so, oh man. This set is going to be really hard to complete. <laughs> I can see it. And that's what scares me, because nobody wants to spend way more <laughs> trying to get a complete set for, you know, them special cards. And this is what I mean with the inside. It's, it's, it's different from the newer ones. That's a lot easier to manage, you know. And here it looks like a lot of things are just swamped from the bottom up. <laughs> Pull all the goodies out. And here's the dice. It's all yellow with a clear yellow. Not bad. We've seen that with some of the other ones where it's all red, all greens, all blue, especially these battle styles does that. Here we got our packs. Six packs to work with. It would have been nice to have ten, but we got some nice designs. Okay, so we got all four different designs. I'm going to try to open it up as carefully as I can because I don't want to shred it up. I can keep four of the good designs. I got the energy cards, you know, who cares. Oh, look at that. Here's the other two. So it wasn't complete with the other four, so that's kind of weird. We got the sleeves. The sleeves is uh, an alright design. Nothing really spectacular. All right, let's get with the business and open up the packs. And no, oh Lord, it's just shredded in my hand. Not so bad from what I'm seeing. Here's our reverse. Well, I really like how the reverse, the stars look good. You know, I really like that. And here we have a big boy, Metagross GX. Off bat, look how that looks. Happy camper here. First pack already had a big boy. Love it. Okay, let's go off to the next one. Sorry about that, YouTube. My roommate came down and, of course, it took too long for me to say something, so I'm going to have to splice this video up. Let's get back to where we were, shall we? And out of the different cards I'm seeing, I'm, I'm liking the designs for them. It's our reverse. I'm not really going to complain too much because I'm just starting with the Guardians Rising, so I have absolutely not much cards for it, so I'm willing to take anything I can get right now. <laughs> Wishy washy, these designs never look good for him. Got I like the knits, I like the claymations, I like the ones that got a lot going on in the background. But some of these derpy ones I don't like. 
Is that reverse? Nothing in the back. Hopefully we get a big, uh, better hit out of the Guardians Rising. I was told some of the older sets have much better hit rates than how some of the current ones have them. Especially battle styles. Like I mentioned, I thought it was just me. But apparently it's for everybody. Battle style set is just horrendous. I've seen better Geo dudes because it's probably from the other set, you know. That's probably why it looks like that. I don't know. I, don't li I like the original better, I guess. <laughs> uh, reverse that looks really good. I like that. Oh man, I said these things are so easy to open up. It's a shred. So I'm trying to keep four of them at least good, you know, without ripping them too bad. I guess as long as I keep the front to side intact, that's what matters the most, right? <laughs> Let's see what we get. Uh, got another well lord reverse yeah but we got hollow i accept hollows because i don't have any right now Uh, crazy looking, ain't it? It's a fish one again, ain't it? Yep. The fish designs are always the craziest until it's in its final form. Now, reverse. Man, G car's a little bit different on this set. Wow. Okay, I thought I had two of the same form. I'm going it down. Get down. Whip, whip. Got your paw stuck, don't you? Mm-hmm. He had his nail stuck in the thing. Can we get another big boy? At least two alpha ETB would be nice. That's our reverse. They're not gonna be out this pack. <laughs> Down to our last pack, ladies and gentlemen. Can we pull it off? Reverse, nose pass. No, it's not. We don't even get a hollow. So, how about this ETB? Is the so so. That's really detailed. I like it. So, one big boy, one hollow. The rest are just reverses. I have to say, that's kind of so so to disappointing a little bit. But I got Metagross GX. I'll accept it. I have nothing, so I'm willing to let it go. You know, if this uh, ETB was like 150 or 200, I'd be really like blown right now. But I don't have much of anything of it, so it was good for me, I guess. Let me know below how you feel.
Like always, leave some likes, some comments, but please subscribe. Enjoy.